Anyone ever gives you a choice of, say, uh, sitting down to supper with a sergeant's cadaver or feasting with a live general? You sit with a sergeant because he can't harm you. No, sir. His harming days are over. There's a secret in these woods. And don't you go mouthing off, you hear me? I won't. I've been stalking it. What? Time's not right. It's close by. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boy's eyes. You could be sitting a breath away and you wouldn't know. But I smell him. Maybe I should go. My mom will... Death's too fast for you. She said I couldn't go camping. A person could be walking along with a tune in his head and a smile plastered across his face. You take your weapon, and just so, <laughs> knocks him down like that. His soul's in hell or heaven before you can blink your eyes. Go on, Stephen. Go on home. No one ever calls me, Stephen. Rachel's not asking you to perjure yourself, son. All she wants is the truth. Well, the deceased. No, in, in good, plain language, John. He was a man around 60, and he bled to death. Wow. Stevie, was he stabbed? Well, we're not sure. You don't know what the murder weapon was? Well, ma'am, Sheriff Boyington thinks it might be a butcher's knife. But see, the thing is, he wasn't buried right away. See, the experts think that he was in maybe a casket or something for at least a few months before he was, you know, before he was left in the, in your woods. You see, Mom, he could have been killed any place. New York, Las Vegas. Maybe somebody was stealing caskets or looking for jewels and... <laughs> <laughs> well, enough of this, detective. I'm gonna... Have some more of Rachel's delicious jam. <laughs> How do you like that bread, Rachel? Mmm. Dad baked that himself. Yeah, my Martha taught me how to take care of myself in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a photo of Martha? Yeah. Yeah. She would like you. She was special. Always playing music, singing, artistic. You remember, Johnny? Always made sure I had a fresh carnation in my buttonhole. Said it, said it looked gentlemanly. Dad, I don't think you should... It's all right, Johnny. <laughs> He's always worried about my feelings. Yeah, he hates it when I drive up north. That's where it happened, you know. Martha had gone up to visit her mother. A drunk driver came out of nowhere. He was killed instantly. Family albums mighty precious when the loved one's no longer around. I took uh, this one here when Johnny was just a little bit of a thing. Sweet. Oh, and, and my favorite is uh, right over here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh. I, I put the camera on the timer, and then I you know, went around. Boy. 
This is embarrassing, Malcolm. Our album is in such a mess. Really, I don't think we have one good photo of the whole family. Oh, well, now that you're settled in, you can uh, get your album in order. You are settling in, aren't you? I'll have to think. Listen, Dwayne Mortimer is the prime suspect. Oh, jeez, Mom, would you cut it out? Eli. You could have gone with his wire cutter, Mom. <laughs> Come on, Rachel, you've been at this for weeks. It's Christmas. Excuse me. Right. Forget that there are bodies all over our backyard. The guy in the woods died months ago, Mom. Oh, I see. It's okay with everyone that our woods are turning into a cemetery for some madman. Uh, okay, okay, Mom. Wait. Just equal time. It could be Ruth Mortimer. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, Mom. Seriously. What? Seriously what? She killed him with her big mouth. <laughs> What happened to the needlepoint? Somebody move it. What happened to uh, my home sweet home? Oh, they're all suspects. Stevie, it's the middle of the night. What are you doing? I'm helping Mr. Link patrol. Mr. Link. Henry Link is a suspect. But, Mother, according to you, everybody's a suspect. Somebody's been in the house. Smile. 
Okay. That was gorgeous. Okay. Thursday, I have to stay late for science club. Okay. Dad, yeah, is there any way you can fix the faucets in here? I mean, the water smells really putrid. Well, we're out of juice. Please remind me, Lisa, will you, honey? This old house is always smell moldy. Do you have any peanut butter? I knew it wasn't Henry Link. I knew it. Everybody said he was a dangerous one. He was protecting us. I told you he was our friend, Mom. Stevie, I'll find Link's killer. That's a promise. Whoever did it knows his way around this place. The question is, why Henry Link? What's the motive? Maybe he discovered the real killer. Sheriff. Yeah? This is probably nothing, but one evening, the kids and I came home and... We thought somebody had been in the house. Does anybody have a key to your house? No, no, we had all new keys made when we moved in. Do you know anybody who's got, say, a, a grudge against you? No. Not that I can think of. Well, now, Mr. Yeoman, somebody somehow gets through your locked and double-bolted door, empties out the food cupboard, puts the food God knows where, and sticks Henry Link's body into the cupboard where he appears at breakfast. Why? Looks like somebody wants you to leave Tomahawk Lake. Evening, folks. How's she doing this evening? Oh. Feeling poorly tonight, Martha. Oh, well, sweetheart, you know I come as often as I can. I I'm doing my best. to keep you company and... Now, now you're talking crazy, sweetheart. Didn't I bring you that teacher? A nice gal, brunette. <laughs> Said I was getting too chummy. 